Waterfall approach was very first as DLC model to be used widely in software engineering to ensure success of the project. Here in this video we are going to discuss each aspect of waterfall model. This video is consist of three parts. In the first part of this video we are going to discuss brief introduction of waterfall model. In second part we are going to discuss application of waterfall model. In third part we are going to discuss advantages and disadvantages of waterfall model. So let's start our today's video. In this video we are going to discuss in detail the waterfall model. The waterfall model was the first process model to be introduced. It is also referred as to a linear sequential life cycle model. It is very simple to understand and use. In a waterfall model each phase must be completed before the next phase can be begin and there is no overlapping in the phases. The waterfall model illustrates the software development process in a linear sequential flow. This means that any phase in the development process begins only if the previous phase is complete. In this waterfall model, the phases do not overlap. The waterfall approach The whole process of software development is divided into separate phases. In this waterfall model, typically the outcome of one phase acts as the input for the next phase sequentially. The sequential phases in waterfall models are requirement gathering and analysis, system design, implementation, integration and testing, deployment of system and then maintenance these all phases are as same as we are discussed earlier in our software development life cycle video all these phases are cascaded to each other in which progress is seen as flowing steadily downwards like a waterfall through the phases the next phase is started only after defined set of goals are achieved for the previous phase and it is signed off. So the name waterfall model in this model phases do not overlap. Now we are going to discuss waterfall model applications. Every software developed is different and requires a suitable SDLC approach to be followed based on the internal and external factors. Some situations where the use of waterfall model is most appropriate are The first one is the requirements are very well documented, clear and fixed. The second application is where we use waterfall product definition is suitable technology is understood and is not dynamic there are no ambiguous requirements resources with required expertise are available to support the product the project is short this video we are going to discuss the advantage and disadvantage of waterfall model. The waterfall model is the earliest approach that was used for software development. That's why its advantage are it is simple and easy to understand and use. Work well for smaller projects where requirements are very well understood. Clearly defined strategies, well understood milestones, and easy to arrange tasks. Easy to manage due to the flexibility of the model. Each phase has a specific deliverables and a review process. 
we are going to discuss some disadvantage of waterfall model. As we know, it is a very old model and it used earlier for software development. That's why there are lots of disadvantage of waterfall model. The first, the first one is high amounts of risk and uncertainty. Not a good model for complex and object oriented projects. Poor model for long and ongoing projects. It is difficult to measure progress within studies. Cannot accommodate changing requirements. Adjusting scope during the life cycle can end a project. Integration is done as a big bang at the very end, which doesn't allow identifying any technological or business bottleneck or changes early. These all are the disadvantage of waterfall model.